Hey guys, I wanted to figure out if the Impossible Burger actually tastes the same as a classic, awesome, regular hamburger. Went to this place called The Counter that was in Northern California, uh, which was at Santana Row. And yeah, we just wanted to try it out. To be honest, this is kind of pricey too. This place called The Counter, is it's these burgers cost about, I think, um, 15 to $17. The Impossible Burger definitely cost 17 something. That's what I remembered. <laughs> And the counter burger, which is right there with cheese and everything else, that's your standard burger that they make. So that's a good comparison. So anyways, this was like around, I think, 15 or 17 bucks. It's kind of pricey. But at the same time, there wasn't any other place that was close by that actually had it, nor do they, these currently, nor do they sell the Impossible Burger um, meat patty in at stores or anything. So I can't wait until they do, because I, I want to cook it for myself, because Cutting it open, it looks just looks and feels just like beef, and the texture is just like beef as well. Uh, but it's all plant protein that they made it out of, and it's made in, I guess, like you know, a bunch of scientists developed this, or food developers developed this. But opening it up, look at that! It looks just like beef, uh, even red in the center and everything else like that. So this is the Impossible Burger, and let's go ahead and cut open the regular classic burger. So here's the classic one. We can see what the difference is it has the cheese instead of the avocado. I think they had the avocado one because it was probably vegan. In other words, there was absolutely no animal protein in that one. It's purely, um, I, I think it was vegan at least. Anyway, don't yeah, don't quote me. You want to check the menu and stuff. But this is the regular classic burger with uh, the beef and lettuce and um, fried onion rings, I think, in it. And also mushrooms. It looks pretty awesome as well. Looks like regular, well, that is the comparison, the regular beef. A lot more uh, pinker. Uh, throughout and then the impossible burger has the pink and red it's a little bit more red and on the top which is kind of interesting we asked them to cook it at medium medium rare so overall it looks pretty good overall it looks pretty good uh we did what i did was that you know we just had their standard build because i figured they already probably figured out what best tastes best as a burger so the one of the impossible burger had the avocados and onions grilled and everything else like that and tomatoes the regular burger basically has the mushrooms, the Swiss, and um, some fried um, onions. We took both of them out, and they look very similar. Both ground beef, it tastes very similar too. Almost couldn't tell the difference between... Um, there's a slight difference if you actually taste it, but if you just ate that burger, you probably wouldn't know that that was um, made of all plant protein. So anyways, to summarize... Awesome burger, to be honest. Was it worth 17 bucks? Yeah, it's it's kind of worth it. It's not bad if you're going out on a date or something else like that, or you just want to try it out. 70 bucks, it's it's kind of pricey. I, actually, it's very pricey. <laughs> but you're at a restaurant. It's a fast casual type thing. Um, definitely, definitely, you know, it's on the um, bleeding edge of what we're looking at in terms of uh, new technology and food. I also tried the Beyond Tacos as well. You want to check out that uh, video. I'll leave a few links below as well. It tasted pretty good too. Not the same as the Impossible Burger. The Impossible Meat was a little different. Anyways, actually, the Impossible Meat tasted a lot more like uh, real beef. Um, Beyond Meat, I haven't tasted because they put so much sauce on it in the Del Taco one that I couldn't really taste it for sure, but it still tastes like ground beef. So anyways, very cool. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for more reviews, food trips, other stuff, all this miscellaneous um, and eclectic videos I make. You know, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you next time. Look out for the other playlists if you have other interests, like uh, if you want to buy stuff or anything else like that. Anyways, see you next time. Bye bye.